Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Mini Omni uh, speaker. This one is uh, actually from uh, Dayton Audio, but it is pretty much identical to the TIC um, speakers that are out there. Uh, build quality, I don't quite like as much as the uh, the full size like eight inch omnis um, I feel like it's a little bit a little thinner definitely need to bury this um, or it probably will resonate I, I would not just leave it out um, in the same vein this does not have the the mounting tabs on it for bolting it down um, so definitely would recommend uh, the burial with these but overall, um, I find them really, really good. So, of course, they've got the, the standard uh, screw-in terminals on the bottom with the cable gland that tightens that down. Um, if they're going to be installed for quite a long time, personally, I would recommend maybe backfilling this with uh, a little bit of a dielectric grease on there um, just to keep things out of this you're really relying on tolerances here. There's not a gasket uh, other than around the wire. So I feel like this, uh, where it comes in right here, over time could get a little bit of a, a seepage in there, enough that maybe the water would get trapped um, and not drain back out. So you could actually end up with water pooling around your terminals. Uh, as far as sound quality, I generally use these with an 8-inch um, Omni Sub and will either use them with an external digital uh, crossover or I have used them with the 8-inch the Sub built-in crossover um, with these as satellites. With these as satellites, I find that you might need a little bit of EQing on the front end. Um, it could be just a touch harsh on here. I'm not sure about the, the power output to the sub. I kind of wish the sub had a little bit more. Um, these have very good output. Uh, you'll see a lot of things that say that they are not quite as loud um, and not as high as people want them. Um, and I can see that compared to other speakers, but when run through the sub, I'd kind of prefer if maybe the, the sub had a little bit more power delivered to it. Um, in standalone, these are as good as a burial, low to the ground, five inch Omni speaker is gonna be. Um, not a ton of highs, cause again, this is like a single driver um, speaker. It is low, so it's gonna be blocked by a lot of vegetation and things. You're gonna lose some of your, your highs, they're gonna roll off. Uh, doesn't have a ton of bass, but as far as background music, uh, just here and there, maybe out in the garden, things like that, these are a great speaker. Um, I've had some in use for, for years. The Omni 8-inch uh, right here that you see has actually been in use for almost three years, um, directly outdoors, just in the weather, and its color matches essentially the these brand new um, mini omnis here so as far as fade and things like that these last a very long time they are very durable um, they hold up well um, i can't say i'd run around them with a weed eater or hit them with a lawnmower but i don't really recommend that of any speaker so just in landscaping and in gardens uh, maybe mulch around them pine straw things like that these hold up very very well um, I, I do find they pair better with a sub. If you are not going to use a sub, I much prefer the 8-inch um, Omnis just because the low end is, is lacking enough with these. That said, if these are going to be for spoken word, um, things like general podcasts in your own yard, or if commercial, uh, minor announcements, and then standard background, they work great. Uh, they work wonderfully for things. They're not super muddy. I would not throw the the deepest octaves of a piano at them. They're going to start to kind of break up a little bit um, with some of your, your major piano music. But for the most part with background, um, it's going to work wonderfully. So, you know, the build quality on these, 
is great. Uh, the TICs are used all over like Epcot at Disney World. Um, and they've held up there for years and years. They are very trusted. Uh, with the eight inches at least, you can get a lot of replacement parts through TIC for them. Um, they are repairable, which is wonderful. Uh, the install of these is super simple. You connect your two wires on the bottom, you tighten everything down, you dig a hole and you put it in it. So they're really low maintenance. Um, I've, I've hosed mine down numerous times. I try to stay away from hosing the direct kind of mesh band here so I don't get water pooled on the speaker. Um, for the most part, you're better off just take a, a nice wet cloth or something and wipe them down here and there. Uh, but I, I don't do that very often and I don't have an issue with them. So overall, the Mini Omnis have, I mean, so far lived up to the, the reputation of the full-size Omnis and the full-size Omnis are wonderful. Uh, they're just gonna have a more limited frequency range, but essentially it's a small version of the same speaker. So if you're looking at the full-size Omnis, but you don't need a ton of low end, something like that, um, or if you're gonna pair it with a sub, these are a great option. Um, and I mean, I really recommend them. I, I use them here and there and haven't had any, any problem with them. So take that for what you will, but great speaker. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to putting more of the fives in with some of the eight inch uh, Omni subs, most likely with an external crossover. If you like this video guys, uh, like, subscribe, and come back. We're gonna be doing a bunch more on some different speakers, uh, maybe some amplifiers, and uh, overall just a lot more content for some of the residential installs and how I even have some of these installed uh, at my own uh, home. So check back later uh, and enjoy.